French president also said U.S. has marginalized itself in moving embassy. The United States has disqualified itself from the Middle East peace process due to its recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said on Friday, following a defiance of the U.S. move at the UN a day earlier. The United States are no longer an honest mediator. In the peace process, we will not accept any plan put forward by the United States, said Abbas, speaking through a translator at a joint news briefing in Paris with French President Emmanuel Macron. The French president said that the U.S. had marginalized itself in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict by unilaterally recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The Americans have marginalized themselves and I am trying to not do the same thing, Macron said. The Americans have marginalized themselves and I am trying to not do the same thing French President Emmanuel Macron Abba has also condemned a threat by U.S. President Donald Trump to cut off financial aid to countries that voted at the United Nations against the United States' decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. On Thursday, more than 120 countries defied Trump and voted in favor of a United Nations General Assembly resolution calling for the United States to drop its recent recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Macron reiterated that France remained committed to a two-state solution, namely one in which Israel and Palestine peacefully coexist side by side with one another. Macron added that France would recognize a Palestinian state at the right time, and not under pressure. The vast majority of UN member states voted on Thursday in favor of a motion rejecting Washington's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Trump had threatened to cut funding to countries that back the measure. Only 128 member states voted in favor of the motion, with nine opposing and 35 abstaining. The nine countries which opposed were Guatemala, Honduras, Israel, Palau, the Marshall Islands, Micronesia, Nauru, Togo and the U.S. Read more four of nine countries that stood with Trump at UN a tiny Pacific. Islands Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Brazik vowed on Friday to use every means to protest against Trump's recognition of Jerusalem, a tough stand likely to win him support among Muslim voters. Najib has been embroiled in a graft scandal over a state-run fund, and has faced unprecedented criticism from former ruling party stalwarts, making the support of members of the Muslim ethnic Malay majority vital in a general election next year. We will continue to fight on this issue, using every available means, through political and diplomatic channels, through discussion and prayer, until one day, God willing, Jerusalem belongs to the Palestinian people, Najib told a rally of about 1,500 in the administrative capital of Putrajaya. He said he would not sacrifice the sanctity of Islam despite his friendship with Trump. Najib visited the White House in September. It is our first duty as Muslims to uphold the religion. If Jerusalem is a sacred land for Muslims, then it is upon us to free it from the grasps of Zionists, Najib said.